Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let you and I rejoice and be glad in it. The verse that stuck out for, for, uh, in our reading today is this, 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 1, which says this. It was in midspring in the month of Ziv, during the fourth year of Solomon's reign, that he began to construct the temple of the Lord. This was 480 years after the people of Israel were rescued from their slavery in the land of Egypt. What I want to talk about today is simply this. God is not in a hurry. He's not in a hurry. So from the time they got out of Egypt till the time that they were able to build a temple was 480 years. And that sounds like a really long time to us. But it's not a long time to God. Similarly, uh, he allowed, think about this, he allowed his people, Israel, to be in Egyptian slavery for 400 years. 400 years. And, and, and he, he said, I'm, before it even happened, he said, I'm going to let them be in there for 400 years. 400 years seems like a long time to us, but it's not to God. Between the, New Test the Old Testament and the New Testament, there's 400 years of silence where God, in the Malachi, God said, I'm not going to speak to you until my deliverer comes. And then 400 years later, Jesus comes. That seems like a long time to us. That's not a long time to God. Similarly, Jesus of Nazareth died, rose, and ascended to heaven 2,000 years ago. That seems like a long time to us, but it's not a long time to God. I say all that to say this, listen, God is working in your life and he will bring about his purposes through you. And it may seem like it's taking a long time to you, but I guarantee you, God is right on time with his plan for you. So what's your job in this? It's simply to wait on the Lord, trust in his plan, and watch the amazing things he does through your life. Let's take this and turn it back into a prayer. So Father, we thank you that you are never late, that you are right on time, that you are not bound by time like we are. Thank you for always bringing about your purposes in our life. We will wait on you and we will trust in you. And it's in the name of your son, Jesus, that all of God's people said, amen. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer.